just want to talk about my MK3 S Plus with the multi material unit printing TPU. First thing I do, I found it's best. I'm just not even using the MMU. Haven't really figured that one out yet. Every time I tried stuff, it just failed. It kept clogging up in here, making wonderful sounds. Other things. But anyway, take the tube out, then go in here, scroll all the way down, settings, MMU, turn it off, filament sensor, make sure it's off. Then I run this as just an MK3S plus single nozzle. Mine's got a 0.6 millimeter nozzle. Use whatever yours is supposed to have. But then the best thing to do, you need to make sure your TPU is dry. I found the best way is just buy a $6 per pound bag of desiccant from Amazon. Works the best. I just put my roll in that overnight. It actually did amazing. So here's before it was dry. This is terrible. And this is a little bit better. So this is after it was dry. And it's just all those little pits is from under extrusion. You need to change the profile. And this is after it's dry with the Sane Smart profile. So depending on your filament, maybe just, I think it was the flow is a little bit different. I didn't compare them. But anyway, I found good results with the Sane Smart. This looks way better so it doesn't have any of the under extrusion but you can tell if your filament is wet or moist it'll look like that and you get these little it'll pop a whole lot just as it does with anything when you have you know the water's boiling and it's you'll hear it pop this was perfectly smooth no popping and you can tell i mean i think it did great it seems i can improve that but it works for my purposes but actually doing really well um, maybe I'll get the MMU to work. It's really a hassle. I've tried to follow some of what another guy did on YouTube and no luck. Try adjusting this. Um, couldn't get it to work right well. Still wouldn't sense it. The filament would be fed in and it actually wouldn't even sense the filament. And then it jams here every time. It's not worth it to me. I'd rather just convert it to single. I'm only printing just TPU and then I'll convert it back to the MMU, which is really simple, super simple.